Well, behind me is LG's 2024 CES stand, and I have to tell you that there's been so much buzz about LG here at the show this year, and the reason is they have some pretty amazing tech. I can't wait to show you. Let's check it out. Wow, this is the big ticket item here at the LG stand. This is the OLED T, T for transparent. Now, I saw a TV like this last year at CES, but it's come a long way. It used to be just full HD, now this is 4K, and it's far more production ready. So it has two modes. It has a translucent mode, which is what you're seeing behind me now, and this has, um, I think there's about six different bits of artwork that you can actually choose from. And it's really about making your space nicer when you're not using the, the traditional TV to watch it. And of course, you can see through it and you can still operate the menus and that type of thing. But you can press a button and it converts into a more traditional TV mode. And there's, there's a contrast screen that rolls upwards and that gives it more contrast than what you're seeing right now and of course that's great for movies great for gaming great for anything you really want to watch on it in addition this tv is actually wireless so that means that you don't have to plug it in all the cables obviously don't want to plug into the back of that because you can see right through it so it's wireless and it will support 4k 120 hertz from a separate box that you can place somewhere else in terms of stand options what you can see here is a sort of a a walk around stand. There's actually some modular stands that you can put beside it so you can put your, your books on it or whatever you want. It's also wall mountable and there's also another option where you can put it against the wall. So some pretty incredible options here for a TV that you might want to actually put in the middle of your living room rather than against the wall. So LG's really thinking outside the box here and I think the OLED T is definitely one to watch. So improvements across LG's other OLED TVs in the range. We're seeing the new M4. Now this is their wireless TV. This has the zero connect box, so it's similar to the OLED T. And this actually can transmit a little faster. It is 4K, but it'll do 144 hertz for 144 frames per second gaming. And with the M4 as well, uh, we're seeing a faster processor, far more AI integration to clean up the picture and make it look better than ever. I think there's 70% more graphics performance with the new chip and about 30% more processing power. So we're seeing some great looking screens from these other models as well. Well, behind me is LG's automotive concept. No, LG is not getting into the car market, so to speak, but it really does want to be involved in the screens that are in your cars, the information systems, and even the charging infrastructure to help with electric cars. So what you're seeing behind me here is a way for you to drive around. Now, assuming that this drives itself, there are screens up front that can either show you an amazing wraparound view of the road in front of you, or you can basically watch whatever you want to on these front screens. But what I really like is the gaming mode and the champagne drinking mode, where actually a little pod moves into the center of the vehicle and it adjusts the way the seats are positioned. And there are even two screens that pop up from the top of the car and fold down. So you can play your games on that, or they can maybe fold up and then the seats can all face each other. So you can have a nice drink, share it with friends while you're on the, on the way from A to B to C to D. So it's an interesting view of the future and LG definitely wants to be a firm part of it. AI is a big trend at the show and LG has its own smart home AI agent. So this is a little robot that sort of stands on two wheels, if you can call it standing, and it can move around your house and basically keep an eye on things. It has uh, cameras in it, it has uh, temperature sensors in it, it's able to tell whether the lights are left on and off, and it kind of patrols your house, whether to tell you whether there's a, a security breach, someone might have opened a window and left it open, or you might have left the lights on, or your pet could have knocked over a plant and run away, and then it can do things by connecting to other smart, LG devices around your house, like send out the uh, robot vacuum to clean up the, uh, the paw prints that the cat left, or it can communicate with the lighting system and turn the lights off. So the idea is that it just makes things easier for you. Somebody's patrolling your home to keep it safe, to make sure that things are the way they're supposed to be. Also, it can recognize faces and you can communicate with it in natural language so it understands your speech, and then it can give you information that you want as well. So it's a concept now, but We'll probably see it come out this year, and maybe it'll just help you out. When you think of coffee, you might not always think of LG, 
but they actually have a really cool coffee maker. So this is called the Duobo. This is a life-size version. They're actually a little smaller. And what it is, is it's a dual capsule coffee maker. And what that means is that you can actually put two different capsules in at the same time and create a blend. So you might have sort of a, a stronger coffee on one side and a smoother coffee on the other, and it can blend them together for you so you can customize your taste. Also, it's got a really cool design. It's shaped like a lunar lander, I don't know, for something a little bit different. And the good thing is that this is actually going to arrive in Australian stores maybe around April this year. So keep an eye open for it. Well, guys, I absolutely love LG's little portable projector here. This is the Cinebeam Cube and it might be small, but it's actually very powerful. It is a 4K laser projector, and it projects a pretty big image of 120 inches. Now this can be up to 120 frames a second as well, which is really great for fast action, gaming, for sports. And also you don't have to worry about getting the image square. You can point it um, even at an uneven wall or one that's off angle, and it has auto, ski, auto keystone and auto vertical adjustment. It uses a, a little time of flight sensor to figure out how to adjust the image so it's nice and flat for you, which is a real headache otherwise. Now, in terms of what you can do with it, you could take it, say, uh, you know, camping, or you can put it on the side of a tent, or you could uh, just put it on any wall in your house. So a lot of fun here. So if you want to change the color, there's this really cool little color sleeve option here. I really like this carrying case too. If you look inside, you can open it up and there's a remote control, which is kind of handy. And it'll also protect it when you're carrying it around. And lastly, this is a prototype where you have the option of adding a little battery pack on the underside here. It can be any type of battery. We talk a lot about smart homes, but what about a smart camper? So this is LG's Bon Voyage and it's a concept, but it's really a smart home on wheels and it incorporates all of LG's technologies. So it has their Think Q system where you can talk to it by voice and ask it things. There are lots of LG OLED screens inside. One of them I saw was actually a fireplace giving you that toasty glow. In addition to that, if you're out sort of mucking about, there's the LG shoe styler inside as well as their clothing styler. So these things you put your clothing or shoes into, it'll use steam, it'll get them nice and clean and fresh. So you can really do that glamping experience and not have to worry about getting dirty or smelly. Also, there's a fold out, or I guess I should say slide out induction cooktop, you know, because induction is the way to go these days. No cooking on the fire with this one. So it's a really cool, clever concept. It looks great with all of these smart lights as well, and you can control of those. And there's a WebOS interface as well, so you can watch TV and pretty much use your screens like you would a normal LG TV too. So, all I need now is a car to hook this up to, maybe a smart car, an EV, and go camping or clamping. So this is the perfect thing for any man or woman cave. This is LG's Duke Box. It's a concept, but what it is, is it's basically a music box that has a real visual experience as well. So it incorporates a transparent OLED screen as well as vacuum tube amps that you can see through. Why would you want vacuum tubes in your music player? Because they create a really warm, uh, I guess sound that isn't as digital, it's more of an analog sound, and a lot of audiophiles really love vacuum tubes these days and their amplifiers. So you can stream music to it from Spotify, and you can see that it puts up information about the track that you're playing as well. But when you're done listening to music, you can also use it as a TV, and it will have the same uh, contrast screen that will kind of appear so you can watch television normally. It's got a great subwoofer down here too for a rich full sound, and really those vacuum tubes not only sound great, they look amazing. Well, that is a wrap from the LG stand, and we've seen some pretty amazing things, including the world's first 4K wireless transparent OLED TV, that's quite a mouthful, along with AI, which is integrated across many products in the range, which will bring new and enhanced experiences. Plus, I really like what I've seen from LG Labs. There's some cool tech there, like the Smart Camper, and some great things coming soon to help us kick back and relax.